So with that, we'd like to open up the floor to questions. And uh, do we have any questions that have come in so far on the panel? One, yeah. one of the questions was IP with the, with the Nugal audio products. Does it work with, uh, with IP? Well, the, um, the Nuvo players uh, only will have that interface enabled if you're using IP. So yes, the IP is enabled for that. And, and the music port as well. The music port elite as well. The two We're talking players. Yeah, and I believe the Grand Concerto is also, or that's a, that's a RS-232. Okay. Yeah, the Grand Concerto is 232, and the NVT2 series of tuners from Nuvo are 232. But the media servers have to be IP, else there would be no way to get the metadata efficiently. Any other questions? questions? That's, um, if you have any other questions, uh, feel free to type those in in the questions area. Oh, the question just came in. Um, where will we find the hot sheet? Yeah, that's a good question. As Reed mentioned, uh, or excuse me, as Forrest mentioned, guys, this is Brian. Uh, there is a landing page that has recently been added to the dealer website for all things Equinox. It looks like a, a bunch of blue bubbles on the page. They're, they're links to selling brochures, cut sheets, and install guides, etc. Those will be located and can be linked to from that page. We're trying to find a permanent home for our premier partner section. It's a work in progress. We've had a couple of different areas where we've had that. And we are working on migrating from that to the new Premier Partners section. In the meantime, it will be found at that launch page. Will the Equinox app have the same functionality as the Nuvo app with regards to zone control and combined volume control? That's a great question. For now, we will not be doing combined volume control uh, if the zones are all in the same stream. For those of you who are familiar with the Nuvo app, if all the zones are in the same stream, one volume change will change all. That doesn't work that way in the Equinox app. However, inside of the Equinox app, there is the sync or all zone overview where you can move multiple zones at the same time. So, uh, or excuse me, at the same time, in the same view. So it's two or three presses instead of one press. We're, we're considering some options there. There's some some trade-offs if we do it that way. For now, we're going to prefer to leave it with single uh, zone management in the Equinox app. Uh, so that zone synchronization that Brian referred to, if you'd review the very first of the three videos that are related to the music widget, you'll find uh, an overview and demonstration of what he's, what he's talking about there. Um, how do I get trained? Uh, there's, a, there's a couple questions that have come in regarding um, finding training. One, spe one specifically for Texas area, but there's some others for other parts of the country and the world. Okay. So um, if you have an individual login, not a, an account or a company login, administrator login, you can sign into the dealer website and there is a section there on training. And as you go into that, it will show the scheduled uh, training courses that are coming. And uh, some of those will be held here in Orem. And we are making a, a concerted effort, as mentioned before, to get around in other places. And um, I would have to check the schedule. I know that there is a, another Texas uh, training that is coming up, but I, I don't have the date. I don't have that schedule in front of me. It might be in May. Um, and uh, so we're offering every time we get out to a uh, an off-site for training, we're offering both the full certification training, and for those of you who've already been certified in infusion, if you just want to get a half-day Equinox training, those courses that course is also going to be offered in, um, at a separate time in the same week um, as the cert full certification training. Um, so go look on the website. If you don't have an individual website, or sorry, individual login to the website, uh, log in with the admin, create a contact uh, for, or a, uh, a password for yourself as an individual, and from that, all your enrollments, your training will all be recorded based on that. Obviously, with regard to EMEA, there's a separate training schedule that, um, you know, if, you, if you're based in Europe, Middle East, Asia, 
um, obviously contact the EMEA office. They uh, they host trainings regularly um, in various parts of the uh, of the world, so um, they would have the update with regard to those regions. A couple of design center questions. Uh, the first is, uh, did you say that the view of the app for all widgets in Design Center is available or coming? Yeah, it's it's coming. It's not in the update one release going out today. It will be towards uh, the Cedia time frame launch period. We'll try and get it in sooner, but that's our, our current yeah. schedule, September, end of September. Uh, and I, I have to admit, I'm really excited about that. I think it's pretty bad A, if I can say that on the air. <laughs> so. And the second Design Center question was, uh, can you create and set up profiles through Design Center on the 7.3 and get these on the app and vice versa? That's a fantastic question. The answer is yes and no. The answer is you cannot do it in the Design Center that we all know and love with object-based programming. But the answer is yes, you can do it from within Design Center only if you are connected to the project live or remotely and looking at the emulator for a 7.3 or for an app, in which case you can. But we do not have, to be direct, we do not have objects in Design Center yet that represent profiles. It's a difficult bridge to cross between the concept of data that exists on the apps in 7.3 and that same information being pulled back into the file and stored in the file back and forth. It's, uh, we can do it, but there's a lot of synchronization and potential issues that could come. So we have chosen at this point to do what you're familiar with, with read in, write back out, um, kind of real time rather than storing that data all the time in the DC file. Because as you know, homeowners and you live with the Equinox products, and those are changing perhaps daily or monthly with different changes to the UI and the system. May I add that with the release of Design Center that is, that is uh, imminent, that there will be a change in the way the profiles work. They will, as instead of being where I set up a profile on the 73 and then cannot see it on my tablets and my phones, that will not be the case with this new release where no matter which device you use to create a profile, it will be available across the Equinox uh, interfaces on the entire system, which is a great, great plus. Um, and a question on, one more question on Equinox and then we have a couple new more questions. The Equinox question is, uh, any plans for a um, Windows version? Absolutely. The, the question was, are we planning on supporting Windows? And the answer is yes. Uh, the development platform that we currently utilize to deploy apps for Android and Apple only supports Android and Apple. We are moving to a new version of that development suite this spring and summer which would allow us to also deploy to Windows. Uh, that is a work in progress, and so we, we hope, penciled in tentatively, to be able to support Windows maybe by the end of the year uh, after extensive testing. As you're aware of resolution and screen size and uh, those kinds of, let's say, issues will need to be taken into account. So yes, and then it will be later this year. So you mentioned, um, back to, to um, audio, you mentioned autom Autonomics was uh, going to add Sirius. Uh, does, does Spotify currently work? Yeah, great question. The Spotify is on the list to be added as well. Um, Sirius XM, TuneIn, and uh, Spotify are all planned to be added to the 4.0, excuse me, SiriusXM and TuneIn are planned to be added to the 4.0, the Equinox 4.0 keypad capability. The Spotify capability is planned to be released to the 7.3 and apps only later this summer. And then um, what's the role of the gateway? Oh, that's a good question. Um, you want me to take that, Tim? Either way. 
the, the role of the gateway in the Nouveau product set is to enable a, a system that does not have network wiring at a location where there is also speaker output wiring so that you can use the wireless network to get data to and from that speaker location. So perhaps the case in point would be some bookshelf speakers that you want to have, but there is no network, but there is um, uh, the ability to put in, say, the bookshelf speakers. So you use the gateway to bridge the player and the network together. And you must use that gateway. You can't use any other gateway out there. That yeah. function, that function, that product has to be used for that. Flat, how about Slacker and um, RDO service? Yeah, those are a couple of services that we're looking at. They are further down in the list. We definitely will be getting to them and supporting them as we can, making a, a choice piece by piece for 4.0 and 7.3 and apps. But they'll come after the last FM, Deezer, and, and other services. Um, I think Forrest may have answered this question, but I just wanted to double check. Uh, when trying to incorporate a Nouveau P200 into a project, I was unable to see Nouveau on EQ73, but was able to see and control Nouveau through the Equinox app on both Android and Apple until I added it to an H50. If it stands alone, would it not also populate through EQ73? Yes, it would. Yeah, it absolutely would. And that was, that's been that case since we released Design Center 3.2 in September to support Equinox and Nouveau as a standalone system. If it, was, if it wasn't showing up on a 7.3, there would potentially be a challenge between the object that was in Design Center that was being used to try and see the, the Nouveau. For example, you could see it maybe through the 850 because you set it up as a source in that case, but perhaps it was the wrong object instead of the... It brings up an important point. The Nouveau system support for the players are added directly through the Design Center objects in the audio view, next to the 850s and IRX2s, etc. Not to be mistaken with some of the Nouveau drivers that are out in the online library for the Nouveau players, which is what I suspect happened. In the, in the case of other, all other drivers, such as Autonomic and iPort and, you know, the Nouveau tuners even, those are all out in the online library. That would be the first thing I would look at. Perhaps the second thing would be on the UI itself, what zones were filtered out um, because there are Nouveau zones versus other zones, receiver zones, et cetera, that could have been causing a conflict in the view there. Might I mention something that may be too simple and might be overlooked because of that is that if a P100 were added or P200 were added after the profiles uh, were set on the Equinox 73, anything that's added after a profile is already created won't show up by default until you go into the settings and select that zone. So that's another very simple thing to check that might be the answer. We have time for two more questions. Sure. So we talked about the importance of a robust network. And um, this, this particular individual has tried various options and still looking for a, a, a solid solution. Any recommendations or suggestions? I mean, we typically recommend um, luxual products. Uh, ruckus products, the kind of more the enterprise grade of, of networking equipment as opposed to the, um, you know, let's say the lower end products purely for that quality of service that Brian talked about earlier. Um, so any anything that is more at the enter, enterprise grade end of things is is probably the recommendation from uh, from the Vantage team. And there is a white paper available um, on our website. And anyone who'd like that white paper can email read.cram at managecontrols.com and I'll be happy to send that out. The last question is uh, so from actually from both North America and also other parts of the world. How does Advantage Dealer buy Nuvo product and, and deliver the audio solution? That's a great question. Um, the, the Vantage product um, in, in North America, including Canada, is available um, through 
uh, Vantage Direct. Um, you can purchase that product starting, um, well, it, it's, on, it's on our online store, but starting with the release of uh, Design Center, the new release that's coming out, it is available to order through Design Center also. So um, we support, we carry and only market the, the P200, the P3100, the P3500 and the Gateway. Um, internationally, um, we will have to, you know, depending where you're at, if you have questions on that, you're happy to, again, maybe email Reed. We can try to get you pointed in the right direction internationally. There are some areas in the world we're going to. Other areas are through the Nuvo distribution in that area, uh, just because of agreements that we have with Nuvo.